baby, you win it on your own. Well, here we go. Legree with the basketball. The Bearcats have long Fortson, Flint, and Burton in the game. And what you'll look for is Fortson and Long posting up, doing the high-low. Fortson the post up down low. Burton, penetration for the win. It doesn't go. Long, you yes. got it. He beat it one second, still on the clock, though. Art Long follows the miss by Darnell wow. Burton. Throws it in the hoop. One second left, and the Bearcats lead by two. And it's almost like a North Carolina State Houston from the NCAA championship. Everybody watching the shooter. Nobody watching under the basket. No box out. Burton drives. Watch. No box out on Long. There he is wide open. Flint keeps it alive. Long grabs it. The clock's still ticking. You got to box out in that situation. If you remember, it was Akeem Olajuwon who did not box out Lorenzo Charles. Charles able to follow Derek Wittenberg's shot. Same type of situation. Bites the bull. And Damon Flint, as you mentioned, kept keeps it alive. Keeps the ball alive. D. Flint with the hand. Art Long with the little lay. The biggest basket of the night. Well, for with one Arthur. second left, you know that South Florida is going to throw it inbounds and let it fly. And, of course, that'll mean a three-point shot attempt. And should that go, South Florida can walk out of here with a win. No question. You put a big man standing right on top of the ball because you do not want to give them a look down the court. So you put possibly your biggest guy, your two bad Jackson, Jolson, sick because he's the kind of guy you want to put on the ball to give the man throwing the ball in a hard time to see down the court. Now Bob Huggins has his team huddled up 10 feet away from a Cincinnati bench due to the crowd. Due to death row. Those guys in the front row who are making plenty of noise. Well, I tell you, has South Florida extended the Bearcats to <laughs> the last of their nine lives tonight? Well, of course, uh, you got to keep an eye on Lamb and Atkins. They're the two long-range shooters in our long, and Bob Huggins won a timeout. Smart play by Bob Huggins. He gets a look at what South Florida wants to do, and that, you know, that gives you a chance to bring your guys back over to the side and you say, okay, look, obviously, they're going to run Lamb up at the ball, and they're also going to run Atkins at the ball. Look at their formation, decide what they're going to do. Now you come over and you set your defense. So Bob Huggins back to the drawing board, surrounded by his Bearcats, hoping that for one more second they can hang on to this two-point lead and get out of here with a close victory in the inaugural game in Conference USA. And boy, if this is any indication of things to come, this is going to be a tremendous league this season. Sure, but you're, you know, once again, you say you're happy for the Bearcats. Cut check, they come through. Oh, of course, by the hair on their chinny chin chin, they just make it. But still, when it came gut check time, the Bearcats not, well, let's not say it's over yet. Still a second left. I, and, you know, you ask Kentucky fans about a second left on the clock, and right. they'll tell you it ain't over till it's over. But still, good thing for the Bearcats to be in a tussle tonight. Well, these are the kinds of games, of course, produced by conference play. You go on the road, crowd shows up recognizing you're fourth in one pole, fifth in another, and everybody comes after you. Again, here's the bucket by Art Long a moment ago off the Darnell Burton miss. Flint kept it alive, and Long threw it in. So here we go. One second left. James Harper, the trigger man, Fortson guarding the ball. And, of course, you put Danny Fortson there to block the vision, something do, um, something Kentucky did not do. They throw the long ball, and the Bearcats have escaped with a 71-69 win over the South Florida Bulls. And Bobby Pascal chasing the official. He thought there was a foul on the inbounds pass down at the far end of the court. Big game for the Bearcats. Huge win for them. Huge win for the Bearcats on the road. And I'll tell you something. 
like you said, they needed this game. And you know what? They got contributions from everybody. Rod Monroe, he should be have everybody play a big game, including the guards. For the fans that came down from Cincinnati, they see a great game, and they still get to go and hang out in the warm of Tampa. All right, well, Kevin, you jump out and uh, talk to Coach Huggins. Okay, I will. And uh, we'll talk about this Cincinnati victory, 71 to 69 over the South Florida Bulls. The Bearcats going to 9-0 on the season. And as we mentioned, the last team to start that well.